I gotta admit, I'm a person that comes clean whenever I do something uh, that's not right. I will come clean. I will admit that I need to do better. And I need to do better. I am a false prophet. And the reason why I'm a false prophet is because when the Jehovah Witness organization came out with the new light on the overlapping generation, I said, this is it. This is the straw, the Dunkin' Donuts straw that is going to break the camel's back. This is it. This is going to wake up people that I know, family, because they're smarter than that. I know this. I am a seed from these people, right? They were before me, right? So I said, this is it. I'm going to go to Bottle King, run into Tony Morris, maybe say, hey, what's up? I'm going to go get me some champagne because we going to celebrate. They will awaken. This is what I prophesied. And I was wrong. I was totally wrong. Because they stayed. They didn't question anything. As a matter of fact, it seemed like they got a jolt of JW energy, they was enlightened. And I said, this can't be, this can't be. This is blatant. This is in front of their face. I said, no, no, no. I said, there are college graduates in this organization, there are people that hold a master's degree up on the wall. I said, this can't be. They're going to form a coup. They're going to come together. And at one point in time, the whole organization is going to leave. And they're going to stick up their middle fingers and they're going to say, you thought we were stupid? We're out. And I waited. And waited and waited. And it never happened. As a matter of fact, I approach one person who I will not name. And I said, you don't question the overlapping generation thing, the new light that they... And they actually tried to answer it. And they failed at answering it in a way that was logical in the most feeble attempt to answer anything in life. They said, it's the new light, right? They were proud of it. I said, so you mean it was wrong before? No wasn't wrong before coming at me like you idiot right and I listened I said what what so I mean if it's new light I, I I just keep it simple you mean it's right now now it's right before it was wrong wasn't wrong before what are you, <laughs> what are you talking about there are certain things that the governing body uh, basically, forget the wording that they use, but basically, you know, they come to a better understanding. That's the word. Better understanding. I said, so they were wrong before. They were misinformed. Oh, because 
saying the governing body is wrong or was wrong or is wrong, that is, that is one of the deadly sins. Can't do that. So, you know when someone is trying to explain something, whether it be a child, whether it be a friend, a relative, whoever it is, and you know the information already, and you're watching them just struggle with whatever they're trying to say or make sense of whatever they're trying to say, and it's like, you, 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 you pity them. You're crying inside. You're like, oh my God. Oh my God. This is, this is worse than what I thought. This is how I felt. I was listening to this person and they probably thought they were teaching me something because I was quiet. No, I was baffled. I was confused as to how people could just make shit up. Excuse my expression. And people could just believe it. Right? Put a shoebox on your head. There are invisible rays of sun that's not really a part of the sun. They're infiltrating and mocking rays of the sun actually look like it's coming from the sun. Can we just put on a hat? No, you must wear a shoebox. Don't laugh. You will get thousands of people walking around with Nike and Croc box or boxes on their heads. I mentioned this before and people laugh. Do you see me laughing? This is serious. People listen to whatever they're told without research, without common sense. I'm the type of person that I'll, I'll lift you up, right? I'll say this person is the most noble, honest person based on me knowing them forever, for however long I've known them. Never did anything to me. They're honest. They're uh, trustworthy. And then I find out through research that they're not, that next minute, I change my point of view. That's it. It's like, um, I know I said that an hour ago. My bad. They're liars. They're cheaters. They're thieves. They're not trustworthy. How do you hold on to something so much, especially to a human? I'm talking about human beings here, right? How do you hold on to it so much that they can do no wrong? Even in the face of wrong, it's like, no. Right? And that's what we do and people do in general. It's like, yeah, um, I didn't want to tell you this, but uh, your wife or your girlfriend or your husband, he seen him kissing on somebody and it didn't look like uh, a relative, you know. Um, yeah, it's been actually going on at the same time uh, every day for the last couple of months. I'm sorry I didn't tell you, didn't want to get in your business. And you get people that would not even research it. They would say... <laughs> <laughs> not my wife not my husband right not my boyfriend my girlfriend right now i'm not saying that just because someone com comes up and says these things that you should automatically believe it but it's like you know most people are going to research it they'll they'll at least mention it hey babe um you don't have a cousin or 
best friend that I know about in town that you like to kiss on the mouth? It's like, what? What are you talking about? No, you know, Steve, he was like, you know, he sees you every single day um, in the parking lot, uh, you know, kissing on this person in a way that you should only be kissing on me, you know? It's like... <laughs> You'll you'll address the situation at least. And if that person doesn't give you adequate, you know, like please. Steve wants me himself. You know, that's typically what the next line would be. You know, he's just jealous. He wants me like you know, but you get what I'm saying. It's like you're gonna at least address it. Like, okay, the new light thing, why they switch up like that? And they give you this feeble, childlike answer, and you just go with it? In the name of Jehovah? I don't get it. I mean, I get it, but I don't get it. Um, That's got to be one of the most. That's when I knew it was going to be hard. I said, okay, okay. This is going to be a tough one. Once the new light doctrine flew over people's head, witnesses, I said, this is going to be tough. Because I thought for sure that was it. Right? And why do they implement the new light in the first place? Why? You think it's what? Control? That's what you think it is? You think it's for no reason? See if we got a hold on a congregation, the flock, like we should have. We have to test the waters. No. No. It's because trial and error. You tried something. It's not working. And you have to switch things up. Or something that you said previously, like the generation thing, is coming back to bite you. You're like, uh-oh, it's coming back to bite. You got to switch things up. There wouldn't be new light if the old light was still working fine. If the Light in your house, outside of your house, near your garage, your sensor lights, whatever. If it's working fine, why would you change it? Oh, look at that nice light. It's bright. It's an LED. It's beautiful. But I just want to change it for no reason. That's what you think? That they want to change it for no reason? No, you change it when the light goes out. Or when it's about to go out. You see some flickering. Starting to get a little yellowish. Right? You change it. The smart thing to do is change it before it actually totally goes out. In the case of the governing body. They change things that are not working for them. For the organization. For them. Not even the organization. For them. They change it. Money is on a decline. Uh, uh, members on a decline. We have to change things around. This is hurting us. New light. You can't see that? Evidently not. Evidently not. But it's a shame. We have a tough fight ahead of us. And I am a false prophet came clean I prophesied that once the new light doctrine came into play especially with the overlapping generation I don't know if that was the first time it came into play please enlighten me but I said to myself this is it this is it and it wasn't it wasn't 
For some people, it was. Don't get, don't get, don't get it wrong. Don't get it twisted. For some people, it was. There's a lot of XJWs on here that made mention that the, the overlapping generation was their exit point. You know, they said that that was it. But I'm talking specifically to the people that I know. And as a whole, I thought it was going to be the end, you know. Um, but it wasn't, obviously. So we're waiting for the next one. I'll tell you the truth. I love the new light. The new light I love because they are going to hang themselves, right? Right now, they think the new light, this is it. They're like, we, we got a winner. We could just always throw the new light. But at some point, they are going to hang themselves. So I love the new light. Bring it on. I'm waiting for the next one. I'm sure y'all waiting for the next one. Like, what is the next new light? I'm waiting for that. Because that's the only thing that, even if it's not multitudes, multitudes of uh, uh, Jehovah's Witnesses leaving the organization, it's going to be a lot. Every new light, there are going to be people out the door. And I love it. I love it. I'll leave it there with that being said. Uh, Y'all know what I ask you to do in every post. Just think, you know, and it's not more. It's it's more for the people that are on this channel trying to find a way out, trying to solidify uh, what they already know deep down in their hearts, but they need some sort of extra validation. Well, I'm here. We're here for you that's what we're here for right we're, we're, we're that extra just that extra nudge that extra push just when you're thinking that maybe I'll stay I'm hoping you turn on one of our videos right and I gotta support my brother uh, my biological brother not my brother in faith uh, my biological brother um, he has a channel called The Back Room, um, and check it out, check it out, man. Um, we come from the heart, we speak passionately, we fumble, we mess up, we spit, and, um, yeah, that's what we do, but we are real, and that's what you're going to get 100% of the time with us, right? Um... I'll leave it there. Love.